Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing it really, really well. It is currently Saturday. Can you believe the time? 25 to 9. 25 to 9, that is so early for me to pick up the camera, isn't it? I'm so proud of myself. However, that is because this week's video is we're going to do like a what I eat in a weekend. Just like very normal because I've had a couple of comments like can I do more of these. So absolutely I can. So I'm heading downstairs. I did actually start eating and I was like, do you know what? No. I'm going to show you guys. We're going to do this as this week's video. Um, and yeah let's go and eat some breakfast just for reference i did used to really struggle with my relationship with food years ago and um, i have overcome that and now i'm a girl who eats like three meals plus snacks plus dessert and i'm here to tell you that it's absolutely okay and you deserve all the food so yeah let's go and get some bracky so this morning mum actually headed out to Lidl's. ignore the energy stuff and the random aubergine but she went out to Lidl's and got fresh pastries which is honestly my favorite thing sometimes when she's home on a saturday she will do that so there is loads there is a cheese twist some panu raisins an almond croissant uh what is in there chocolate twist however i decided to go for a chocolate croissant i put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and if you have tasted prep croissants put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and literally taste the exact same as prep for literally a quarter of the price so i had that I've got, well i've got that and i've also got some fruit so i've got some blueberries and raspberries i have already started eating them so there was more than that but that is saturday morning's breakfast which honestly looks ideal to me so i am gonna go chill eat this but honestly trust me when i say get this with and then just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds you will not regret it. if you love chocolate croissants that one is for you it is currently 12.01 i'm about to have some lunch and honestly she's looking beige she is looking really beige so i have a flatbread best flatbreads ever by the way um and in here literally looks like rubbish i have some hummus and some falafel and then i also have like some pringles there's literally not many in there i would usually with this lunch have like my favorite lunch at the moment is that wrap but i have some um beetroot and uh, roasted beetroot and pepper um but i haven't cooked any so i haven't put that in so it's not really given health this today hasn't really given health has it really to be fair um but will i give health at any point today probably not however as long as i like the food i have fruit without throughout the day i'll have my five a day so yeah that's what lunch is don't know if i'm gonna enjoy it i was gonna put halloumi in it however when i went to do it mum was like that halloumi was left out all night and it was quite warm and i was like mm. no one of my biggest foods is actually being sick so i was like obviously i'm not gonna eat that now um but yeah this is pretty much quite a beige lunch a really uninteresting lunch i'm literally just about to get a mouthful of hummus and i mean that's not that's bad i'd have like that's a dip um uh, oh yeah that is my lunch i probably could have done a little bit of a picnic plate but i was hungry and i just wanted simple um and this was that so yeah i'll probably catch them with you when i eat something else I might have some grapes after this actually just to get some more fruit in there but yeah hmm. so i have just finished eating lunch like literally how long did that take me nine minutes and i've also gone and got some cherries i don't know if the lighting's great and some grapes that need to be used if you're wondering why i have a random bowl of chicken that is because mr freddo just keeps coming and trying to eat all our food so that's his i feel like he's gonna take that off i'm gonna have to take the chicken out for him um so yeah that is gonna be his lunch we had that whole chicken that we roasted sorry i'll wait for him to finish that one i don't want to interrupt you babe oh that was very close to my fingers it's definitely a lot later than i'd want to have at my mid-afternoon snack however i do have a mid-afternoon snack which is this caramel bliss salted caramel cheesecake yogurt thing so for anyone that hasn't had one of these before it's literally like um it's basically a middle corner yogurt but obviously this is cheesecake and then underneath here which if i can get to is like the salted caramel base for obviously the cheesecake this is greek um whipped yogurt i'll put that over there some people will literally just go like that go like that and then eat it but i'm a girly that like puts it all over so this is my yogurt done and honestly i bought these because i was like oh i really fancy them and they were on offer and um i don't think i'll be buying them again um they're just they're just not really my fave but i've now got well i've got two left after this one so 
yeah got to eat this and the reason i'm having it so late is i've been at my grand's did i say that i've been at my grand's this afternoon so that is why the mid-afternoon snack is so late and i'd probably usually have a couple but obviously dinner's probably gonna be in like an hour hour and a half so i'll just have this and then we have some dinner which i'm quite excited for it is saturday night which means it is indian night in our house um, and honestly i want to say probably not every week maybe like every week and then we have a break and then we have like every week like every other week but we'll do two break two sort of vibe and that is because i don't think i've ever spoken about this online basically my mum's dad so my granddad was indian um he lived in india until he was 18 came over um and now we just have curry every saturday because that's exactly what they used to do i mean they used to have it like three times a week um but we have it every saturday now we've done the tradition so let me go to the spoon that's got mango chutney but i'll show you what's on my plate oh so, on my plate is some homemade tandoori chicken that my mum makes i want to say it's from my granddad's recipe i don't know we've got some poppadoms some naan bread some mango this is called this we've got some rice there this is called chaychki apparently no one knows what it is like even if you are someone that is of indian heritage they will have no idea apparently it's just something my granddad made like his family and it's basically lentils and onions and some turmeric and it is so bloody good um but yeah i'm really excited to eat this and that is the little backstory because i don't i don't think i've ever spoken about that i really don't think i have um so yeah that's a little backstory in our house we have indian pretty much every other week and my mum, i don't like in that pot she's made like her own curry she makes it from scratch the only time we'll have like jar is if we have like korma or something but her and my dad um make their own curries literally from scratch so yeah that is that was tonight's dinner have i already started eating my dessert possibly i'm not gonna lie i possibly have so it is currently what time is it Oh, it's quite early. 25 past seven. And my dessert is this brownie with white chocolate like that's on the brownie. And then there's an Oreo on top. But I don't think it's an Oreo brownie because I've tried it. Sorry, I'm really out of breath. I've just come up the stairs. And there's no like Oreo. I don't know if you can see that. There's no like Oreo bits in it. I think the Oreo is just for decoration. But my dad went to Cornwall this week with my brother and we get pasties bought back and that same company does like little boxes of like sweet treats so he got this um there's also like a rocky road but i'm not really a rocky road girly but i'm a brownie girly it would be better if we had some warm vanilla ice cream however we don't so it's just the brownie ah it's very hot like that. that middle bit is actually quite hot i um, put that in the microwave for 30 seconds but very very happy with this usually i would have an ice cream when it's literally like 30 degrees but we don't really have any flake ice cream left in the freezer and i'm not really feeling like a magnum so warm brownie that actually makes no sense 30 degrees charlotte and you've gone for a warm brownie but it doesn't have to make sense it's chocolate it never has to make sense so yeah i'm trying not to spill it because i've already spilled stuff on this top today you know the cherries that i had at lunch yeah put that spill that all down me cherry chip pip fell out my mouth all down me so that was fun i literally took my top off obviously i had a bra under it this is not a story you need to know but i'm just going to tell you anyway um and my mum was like doing vanish on it and one of my brother's friends came in the house literally came in the house i was like great do you know what absolutely bloody fabulous luckily like as soon as the door opened i just put it on and just dealt with it but yeah that was that was today's story so i'm trying not to spill this is where that story came from i don't know why it I get these random stories from but i'm gonna eat this i don't know if i'll eat anything else after this sometimes i'll have like some sweets in the evening around like half eight nine but because this half seven now and it's going to be quite a hefty dessert i don't know if i will so if i do eat anything else today i will let you know if not i will see you tomorrow good morning good morning it is breakfast time it is currently what is the time 25 I don't know where i got 22 five to nine on sunday morning i forgot to mention this yesterday but i'm trying to drink two of these a day i only had one of them yesterday so that wasn't great but it is breakfast time so so far this is out of some of the pastries my mom got yesterday so i picked up this panu raisin which looks really nice and i'm gonna get some fruit because i need some sort of help in me so i think i'm gonna go for if you can see my oh yeah you can't see my fridge don't judge just like my fridge i'm gonna have some this fridge i'm not gonna lie stresses me out stresses me out 
because I will clean it and then no one will listen to the like organization, shall we say. But I'm gonna have some blueberries. There's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blueberries in here. So I'm gonna have ten blueberries. I am going shopping at this morning after I drop my mum to work. I have like a little Sunday ritual. I think I spoke to you guys about this. Have I? Oh, I don't think I have. I don't think I posted in that long. So I have a little Sunday ritual now where I wake up, do my skincare, will take my mum to work, and then I go to Tesco's and do like the food shop for the week. So I know I'm having good things. I'm having like, raspberries again. Not that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven raspberries. We're doing being treated with raspberries apparently. So need to pick up some more of those and then i'm also gonna have some cherries which we picked up yesterday so i'm just gonna take like a handful because this fruit bowl is looking very very sorry for itself so i'll probably have like half this punnet of cherries i feel like that i feel like that looks healthy that looks that looks like a good amount of fruit now doesn't it yeah so i've had like half that on it i mean probably even more than half that on it the cherries and then that's gonna be my brekkie i think for lunch i'm gonna have a little bit of a picnic plate because they're literally my favorite things ever um and yeah i'm gonna eat i'm gonna eat this down i'm really gonna try and drink two of these a day because i feel like i can tell sorry if you can hear the sink i don't know if you can see but i have been really broken out i don't think you can see i don't think the lighting's great let me see if my torch um oh, i don't think you're gonna see but i have really broken out with like little spots on my um head so i think that's because i haven't drunk enough water so yeah that's what is plan of action today i'm gonna wash these does pe do people wash their fruit because i do i wash my fruit and vegetables and i don't have to, you have to i don't think you have to in the uk um but i'm gonna wash that eat that and then we'll get on with the day i'm gonna stop filming because i feel like you can just hear that we'll ignore the fact that i've literally picked all of the spots on my forehead however it is now lunchtime. i have a picnic plate which is literally my favorite thing in the whole entire world i could literally live off these because you can put so many different things on them so let's show you what i have so this is my little picnic plate so i had some hummus that needs to be used up today so i don't know is that like a quarter of a pot probably have a flatbread favorite thing ever i've got some crisps that need to be used half a pepper some cucumber and two minted lamb chops that my dad cooked last night on the barbecue and i am just really excited i don't know if some people would think this is quite a lot of food for lunch um possibly is however if i want it i'm gonna eat it if i'm honest and i don't restrict myself I need to stop waving this cucumber about but i don't restrict myself in terms of like how much i eat when i eat i have worked very hard to get to where i am so i don't really care as i don't mean that in like a horrible way against you guys but like if someone wants to comment and i know you guys aren't going to care but if someone was to comment being like that's a lot of food i'd be like all right okay i i want it i'm gonna eat it um but yeah i'm gonna eat this now i'm very very excited and again i could would just never get sick of picnic plates because you can change it up every single time like i love a little cocktail sausage a little scotch egg but this is what we had in the fridge today and it, like it's a it's a version of health isn't it so i've actually already had my five a day haven't i i've had my five a day because i had actually do the blueberries and raspberries count as one because there's only a few of them okay i've had four of my five a day i'll take that and what time is it now literally 1201 1201 and I've had four of my five a day. How great. Um, I'm not going to lie. I haven't really drunk much of this. Um, it sounds not full because I've had that since last night. I've probably drunk about 500 milliliters. So I need to get on to that. But yeah, I'm going to eat this now. And I'm very, very excited. It is currently five past three. And that means it's mid-afternoon snack time. I'm really sorry if these are really dodgy angles. Basically, I haven't had my tripod out once this whole video um for no other reason apart from i've been lazy and you are currently like in between my knees so that is the current state but we're gonna do my yogurt oh god i should not be allowed to do things um the exact same yogurt that i had yesterday after this i've only got one left and then i don't have to buy them again so yeah i mean they're fine like they are fine um i've just dropped it on my bed which is absolutely fabulous they are fine they're just i just wouldn't eat them again like, i don't really like them but i have to eat them because i've bought them you know and I, my mum was like oh i don't like them but if you like them and i was like yeah i like them and i'm now like oh 
do I actually like it? Not really. Not really, but it's fine. Like, oh yeah. Um. So yeah, that is my afternoon snack. I probably will have a couple of mid afternoon snacks if I'm honest. I mean, I'm not even that hungry after that plate. That was a really, really good sized plate. So this will probably, possibly tide me over to dinner. And for dinner, I will actually make it with you. It's the easiest thing ever. It's cream, chicken, bacon, mushroom, onion, pasta. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to have that. I didn't get any garlic bread today, which I should have done. Because I would usually have garlic and pasta. Uh, garlic bread and pasta. And also let me know, do you have double carbs? Some people are absolutely no. And I'm like, absolutely yes. If I could have garlic bread and pasta every single meal, I absolutely would. But some people just don't. And also I think it's a culture thing. Because my manager, is a cult is culture the right word? A country thing, I'm not really sure what the right word is. Actually, let me let me actually hold you. Um, my manager at work is French, and she was like, "Yeah, that's not a thing in France. Like, people don't have garlic bread and like pizza, like like or or pasta. Like, it's actually not a thing." So, I don't know where it came from. Maybe just as Brits, we love a bit garlic bread. Like, I could eat a whole garlic bread just for dinner. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. I am going to make dinner together. That looks gross, isn't it? We are going to make dinner together. Easiest thing ever. Literally takes like five, ten minutes. Um, and then that'll be it, really. Don't know if I'll have any mid other mid afternoon snacks. I also don't know how long this video has been. Don't know if it's been quite a long one. I mean, I can't imagine. So, because I've literally just been showing you my food. I reckon like 15 minutes. Hopefully it's more than 10. I think 15 minutes. Which, not mad about. I do like a more, like, 20... 25 minute vlog but if it's 15 it is i just want to make sure like i'm staying consistent and getting videos out anyway i'm gonna eat this now because literally blabbing on about something that isn't even relevant too much <gasps> no okay it was only the biscuits all right i'm gonna eat this now my camera did just come up with a memory card error so i'm really hoping that's not gonna happen again however it is now but i was gonna say yeah 10 past five yeah, I don't know what I was about to say. It's ten past five and I'm not not really hungry yet. But I thought I'm just going to cut everything for dinner. So then when I get to it, it's literally like a five minute job. I mean, this is a five minute job. This is the easiest pasta you'll ever make. So all you need is double cream, which I've got in the fridge. I won't get out because it's so hot. I feel like you're a little bit wonky. Um, is that better? Don't think so. Anyway, um, you need double cream. You need your pasta. You need an onion, some mushrooms, and then some bacon and it's literally the easiest thing ever so i'm gonna chop this stuff up so i dice this you can either slice or dice these i'll probably slice and then dice up your bacon and then when i come to cook it you literally cook the bacon and the onion cook the mushrooms add the pasta add the cream and bob's your uncle you're done this isn't anything like really really um it's not legendary what's the word i don't know the word like anything really like spectacular but it's what i'm having for dinner tonight so i thought we could cook it together so yeah that that's what we're doing so i'm gonna put you show you a little clips of me cutting my veggies and um, you can put anything if i was like being a little bit healthier i did once put peas in it but i put too many peas in it that i'm now literally put off peas for life i think i've had peas twice in probably about six to eight months after that um Thing. but you could add um some pepper i personally don't like pepper with this but you could add like tender stem broccoli that would be nice with it i should have got that this morning but we're just going we're going basic did i say you need chicken as well i don't know if i did obviously you don't have to do a meat version you could do whatever version you want um but we've got some chicken usually i'd go for raw chicken and cook it but we've got roasted chicken that i'm just going to use so yeah let's get cutting these vegetables <laughs> With bacon, I will always cut the fat off because that, for me, like, no, that, that is, oh, no, I've got to wipe these down. Um, that is just not for me. So, bacon fat will always come off. Pasta is bubbling away. It's got six minutes left, so we are going to start on cooking all of the ingredients. If it had chicken in it, like raw chicken... This will probably take doubly as long because I'm scared of being sick and getting food poisoned. I don't know why I'm showing you. Literally, just an empty pan. Um, yeah, if it had chicken, this would take me longer just because I'm scared of getting food poisoning. So I like overcook it and it's really, really dry. Um, so I don't recommend that. But we're going to start cooking. So obviously, pasta's in. I have made quite a lot, but I'll have some for lunch for tomorrow. So 
I don't mind that there's like two, two and a half portions, but we're gonna get cooking the bacon and the onion. So first off, we are putting a little bit of fry light. I usually put about 10 pumps, but I've lost count that probably looks enough. And then once that starts bubbling away, we will add the bacon and then the onions at the same time. So there is currently the bacon and the onion. So in here there is one um, brown onion and then three, three rashes of bacon. Usually I would probably use more, however, that's all we have left. So it, it looks all right. And then obviously the onions will go down. I probably should have put the onions in first, but I put it all in together, so. No lie. Ignore that I've burnt the bottom of the pan. I do this for all of them. Um, but mushrooms are about to go in because the chicken, not the chicken, the um, onion and the bacon is basically cooked. And my alarm is going off for the pasta. So this should only now take a couple of minutes. Literally praying to the heavens that my um, tripod will not get burnt. But I've added the chicken in. Um, now I just added like a chicken breast. It was cooked from earlier. Mushrooms are now cooked. So I'm gonna add the pasta. And I'm also going to add the double cream, which is here. So this is how much pasta I have. A sieve full. Again, I don't really mind that it's um, not that it's not just for one person because I'll have this for lunch. So I'll mix all that together, just so like all the fill in before. Sorry, you can't even see me. All the fill in before I add the cream. Not going to lie, the fill in to pasta ratio didn't really get that down didn't really get that down to a tape but we move so now we have got the double cream and i've got like half a pot so if you're looking for health you can add philadelphia instead um but we've got double cream so i'm just going to use that so put all of that in but i have done this for philadelphia it does taste really nice but i'm going for like bougie today we're not we're not worrying about the health it's a sunday this is like one of my favorite dinners of all time you can have like chorizo you can add whatever you want you do not have to follow this recipe but i am now adding that i'm going to mix it all around and this is what she's currently looking like as you can see not the best ratio of filling and pasta but i don't really mind i'm really sorry if you can hear the washing machine it is literally going over time at the moment but this looks so good so i'm just gonna let it sit for like a minute or two until the cream is warm and then i will serve it up and i will add some cheese on top i'm just about to grate this is what on earth is this angle not even any better but i'm gonna grate some cheese not loads because it is quite rich anyway but we're gonna grate a little bit of cheese she says that she's Putting quite a lot on. I feel like that's nah. You can never get enough cheese, can you? Okay, that's enough cheese. And this is my dinner. Obviously, if I hadn't have burnt the pan, it wouldn't be as like it'd be more creamy, like look a little bit more white in colour. But I did so but i'm really happy with this just so you can see what it looks like outside if it was if i didn't burn the pan this is what i mean like it would a little bit been a little bit more white in color it's a little bit um like it just the white hasn't really taken because i burnt it um so sorry about that food but i think it's gonna I, I mean i've tasted a little bit but we'll do a proper taste first impression with a little bit of everything a bit of chicken a bit of mushroom let's go Mm. this is so good obviously you can put whatever you want in it if you do want a healthier version philadelphia life what life light works just as well but sometimes we like to be bougie so we put the cream in instead and literally favorite thing ever a little bit of garlic bread on the side with this would have been the best thing ever sometimes i will have a dessert straight after dinner sometimes i'll leave it a bit and today is the day that i'm having it straight after dinner so it is quarter past six and i'm having a very squashed mars ice cream so i don't know how well this is gonna go but they're really good ice creams to be fair can you hear the ice cream ban can you hear oh and i'm not someone that can buy ice cream with their teeth however not with their front teeth anyway but i can do it with my back teeth and i'm getting better at it so not that i really want to eat my ice cream really quickly but when it's like this it won't give me brain freeze so that's my um special talent of the day really i don't know what the last thing i said was but i'm just gonna have this ice cream now i probably will have i think that's what i was saying i will have other desserts because it's still quite early so we will catch up when i eat in a little while it is now 20 past oh not that you can see 
20 past 8 in the evening and I'm about to have my last little dessert, little snack, whatever you want to call it. I've got a bowl of American hard gums. And honestly, I won't be argued with, but you can argue with me. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. But the black and the red, best colours ever. And I know this isn't food related, but I have to tell you because I tell you guys everything. I've just waxed my eyebrows and I have filmed a TikTok on it. Waxed my eyebrows, I don't know if you can see like there and there. And I also did my upper lip, which I haven't done before. Let me tell you, I had a red mark all around here honestly looked like I sucked a kit a uh, sucked a cup you know when like you're a kid and you put a cup like a plastic one around here and you get the line that's what it looked like and I didn't know if it was going to go down I was terrified for my whole entire life but luckily it went down it's all good it's been like an hour now so I'm very grateful that that is gone and I am not focusing but I am going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you really did enjoy it. It's something a little bit different. Um, but I wasn't doing loads this weekend. And I still want to get videos up. I still want to come back to YouTube. Um, because I, I do really enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. As always, like you always do. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Join the Best Friend Club if you are new around here. I really want to get on posting the short, posting the, posting the actual videos. I don't know. Long form videos and growing the community over here because I have been a little bit slack over it over the last month or so and I want to get better so please join us I promise you there will be a reappearance I will get better um and yeah that was this week's video I am so appreciative to all of you guys that watch me I love this little best friend community that we have but I am gonna go and finish this and um eat these little American hard gums what is the least what one do I want least probably the green so i'll eat those first but i will see you next week for another video i'll show that green one it's really not good